This is Blazers All Access, an inside look at UAB basketball with head coach Andy Kennedy. Blazers All Access is presented by Viva Health, part of the UAB Health System, and by Mountain Dew. Do the do. Here's the voice of the Blazers, David Crane. The home stretch started last weekend in the Lone Star State, and the green and gold left San Antonio with a split. We welcome you to Blazers All Access with head coach Andy Kennedy. I'm David Crane. Coach, you got off to a great start on the weekend, a 10-0 run to start the ball game on Friday night. I thought Friday night we were as good defensively as we have been all season. Uh, UTSA is an explosive offensive team that only lost one game in their building all season, and they were coming off four straight Conference USA wins, the hottest team in the league. And right from the jump, I think we made our mark on the defensive end. Great activity, we were disruptive, we turned them over, which led to direct opportunities for us in the open floor, and that's our recipe for success. You're actually down one at the half, but another 10-0 run to start the second half gave you the lead for good. Points off turnovers are crucial for us. They have been all year. We're sitting here with 11 conference wins, and we would not be if we could not turn you over. Uh, Friday night, we were really good in that area. 10 steals, 19 turnovers forced. And you, you say it a good bit. You really kept the Roadrunners from finding a rhythm in that game. I thought so. I thought the changing of defenses was problematic. We blitzed them on ball screens, meaning we, we doubled them when they were coming off ball screens, Jackson and Wallace. Although Wallace had another solid night, but Jackson really struggled to find his rhythm. It helped us that he got into a little bit of foul trouble, made him a little more tentative as it related to his drives. A solid defensive effort for the Blazers. UTSA shot 38% for the game. Quan Jackson led the green and gold to a 64-57 win at the Convocation Center. Turn the corner, lean in, put it up off the window too strong. Rebound tapped out, saved by Jemison on the right baseline. Trey looks inside, feeds it underneath to Lovin for the lay-in. Wow. Michael turns it over. Paris has it deflected ahead to Quan Jackson for the two-hand slam. Just an unbelievable play by Quan Jackson. He deflected that, and now he's going to get another steal before you can blink. It's 8-0. And another dunk. And he gets it into Tyreek Scott Grace, and he'll get into the paint. He'll spin and lay it up for two. Offensively by UAB. And a steal, a double team, and a breakaway for Quan Jackson. The dunk and a similar start. Drifts right with it. He'll work into the paint, lean in, floater, up, good for two more. Three off the mark, and the rebound grabbed by Quan Jackson. He'll race it into the front court, down the lane. He goes, left-hand layup, good for two. Boy, speed. He'll bounce it to Nicholson on the low block. Back and in, Kasim, right-hand hook shot. Yes, he banks it in and draws the foul. The highlights are brought to you by Viva Health. You weren't thinking about a Medicare plan back then, but at Viva Medicare, it's been on our mind for a long time. And we know a thing or two about making Medicare easy. That's why our plans have $0 co-pays for primary care physician visits. So when the time comes to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan that focuses on the things you're passionate about, we'll be here for you. Viva Medicare. Enjoy life without the worry. Learn more at vivahealth.com slash Medicare. Legacy is what you do every day. We try not only to help people with their financial legacies, we hope that we enrich their lives and help them become better people so that that total package, at the end of the day, is something they can be proud of. We help them craft their legacy. Saturday, unfortunately, a little bit different story for UAB. It was senior day and UTSA's dynamic duo of Javon Jackson and Keaton Wallace were determined to go out in style, weren't they? Well, they're terrific players. I mean, you're talking about two guys that have combined to score over 4,500 points in college. It's pretty <laughs> mind-boggling when you think about it. You know, UAB in its storied history does not have one 2,000-point score, and we played against two on the same <laughs> team, and both of them were, were lights out on their senior night. Roadrunners turned it over only nine times in game two. How did they attack things differently, or did they just attack? I thought, you know, for us all year, Saturdays have been problematic from an energy standpoint. I could sense directly as we started the game, same game plan, obviously made some adjustments based on what we learned from Friday night, but our energy level was not nearly as good. When you commit two guys to the ball, you have the advantage. If that ball comes out of that double team cleanly, guess what? They have the advantage. The ball was coming out of the doubles really cleanly, and they were making us pay with being very, very smooth offensively. 
Bright spot on Saturday, Jalen Benjamin, 21 points after playing sparingly for you on Friday night. If there is a bright spot, because obviously we were terrible defensively, it's our worst effort of the year. Offensively, I thought Jalen found some rhythm late. You know, he knocked in the half court shot. I started him in the second half, just trying to trigger something. So hopefully him seeing the ball go in the basket is a good sign moving forward. UTSA shot almost 66% in the second half. Jackson had 32, Wallace added 22. In the Roadrunners, 96-79 win. Tyreek Scott Grayson around to Jackson, right wing for a three. Got it! Been running the floor, driving the right side, gets into the lane, kick out far wing to Ertel. He'll step into a three and hit it. Wow. Back to Jackson, around left wing to Lovin. Taven launches a three, they say. I think he had a foot <laughs> on the line. Tyreek dribbles, top of the key, down the right of the lane. He'll lay it up with a left hand and get it to go. Out high, wants to feed the post, does. Jemison, right hand hook shot, middle of the lane, up and in. Nice. Right side, Scott Grayson fakes, drives the right side, contorts and lays it up and in. Boy, contorts is right. Jackson into the front court, Jackson with it, running to the bucket, a whistle, a blocking foul, score the bucket. Jackson has it out high, right elbow, now drives the right side, leans in, banks it off the window for two more. It's just better ball movement by UTSA. 67-52, now 67-55 as Tyreek Scott Grayson hits a big three. The highlights are brought to you by Mountain Dew. Legacy is what you do every day. We try not only to help people with their financial legacies, we hope that we enrich their lives and help them become better people so that that total package at the end of the day is something they can be proud of. We help them craft their legacy. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Regions Bank. After the split, Blazers sit at 18 and 6 overall, 11 and 5 in Conference USA. Time to check the Children's of Alabama stats for the weekend in San Antonio. UAB at 42% shooting overall, 36% from three. Struggled at the foul line, just 61%. The Roadrunners won the rebounding battle. For the weekend, UAB averaging seven assists against 11 turnovers in the two games. Green and Gold did come up with 15 steals combined in the two games. And Coach, the Roadrunners found their shooting touch in game two. That rim got bigger and bigger for them despite your best efforts to, to throw them off, throwing everything you had out of them. Well, you know, our game plan is to try to be disruptive and keep the opponent out of establishing a rhythm. That certainly was not the case on Saturday afternoon. Jackson set the tone. Wallace continued to hurt us. They hurt us off the offensive glass. I felt like we were a step slow, and we're not a team that, that easily can catch up from double-digit double deficits. Uh, credit to them. We got out of there with a split, sitting at 11-5. and five, You know, through our first eight series, us and Louisiana Tech are the only two teams in Conference USA that have four sweeps. Uh, the difference is they swept us. That is our only uh, double loss in a two-game series. We've got one more opportunity. Hopefully, uh, we can make the most of it. Some of the individual numbers from the weekend. Jalen Benjamin averaging 13 in the two-game. Tyreek Scott Grayson, 12.5. Mike, 10.5. Our difference maker, no surprise, Quan Jackson. He averaged 14-4, and four, also came up with four steals. And he kind of looked like the old Quan. You, you mentioned the, his tremendous length, his active hands and his instincts, I would say those three things aren't necessarily coachable, are they? No, he, we knew it uh, immediately when we recruited him to come in. He's got great instincts. He's really aggressive on the ball. Uh, not quite as aggressive Saturday. Again, some of it is the back-to-back. -back. Some of it is the fact that, you know, he's still just a few games removed from from the, the serious knee injury. We need Quan to be good down the stretch. He was good for us this weekend, and uh, hopefully that will continue. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Regions Bank.
This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Legacy Credit Union. It's back to the Lone Star State this weekend. UAB and North Texas were slated to start conference play on the first weekend of the new year, but that series was postponed. It's now going to be made up this Friday and Saturday. North Texas no longer atop the standings. The Mean Green 13-7 and overall, 9-3 and in Conference USA. They split last weekend at Marshall. Coach, you have to deal with another good shooting team. Grant McCla uh, McCaslin's squad leads the league in field goal percentage and is second in Conference USA in three-point shooting. They're a very solid basketball team. Offensively, they don't do anything to beat themselves. They've got four or five different guys that can lead them in scoring each and every night. They're good inside. They've got great point guard play in Hamlet. He always puts his team in a position to be successful, and then defensively, they're not going to give you anything free. Top five in most defensive categories in Conference USA. You and I were chatting before we started. You kind of think defense first with them, but they're really a well-balanced squad, aren't they? are the they? second most efficient offensive team in Conference USA. They are a balanced basketball team. They're going to play late in the clock, meaning at the end of the shot clock, they manufacture scoring opportunities. It's not going to be a high-possession game if they're in control. We've got to do what we do. Uh, it's been successful through 25 games 19 times, and that is turn our opponent over, win the free throw line, win points in the paint, and be timely in our shot making. Blazers still playing for a lot. You're playing for seeding in the Conference USA tournament. And you mentioned this last weekend as well, playing for momentum heading into the postseason. Well, we know our, our path to postseason basketball and amidst this COVID year, there's not a lot of opportunities. Our path is through the conference tournament. We still have that in front of us. I'd like for us to go into Texas, play well, as you said, try to get to 20 wins, try to get to 21 wins, create some momentum for ourselves uh, going into the conference tournament. Best of luck this weekend against the Mean Green. Thank you, David. Tip time Friday, 7 o'clock, 4 o'clock on Saturday. Both games available on ESPN Plus and, of course, on the Blazer Sports Network. For Coach Kennedy, I'm David Crane. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time on Blazers All Access. Blazers All Access has been presented by Mountain Dew, Do the Dew, and by Viva Health, part of the UAB Health System. This has been a presentation of the Blazer Sports Network from Learfield IMG College.